Ulrich Thielemann is a business ethics expert and a very busy man at the moment. The euro has been under massive pressure in recent weeks, further exacerbating the European Union's woes. The EU is weaving a 750 billion euro safety net to help reassure the financial markets, stabilize the currency and weather the storm. Thielemann is at a loss for words. Now they're throwing taxpayers' money at bubble capital. Hard-earned tax revenues are being thrown at nominal capital, at the bubble. That's what I thought. Thielemann's bubble is an absurdly large pot of money, one that has grown 14 times since the 1980s. Over the same period of time, the real global economy grew only sixfold. It's an imbalance that has the EU and its debt-ridden members in dire straits. There's no question. This gigantic bubble capital has to be reduced by destroying the capital in one way or the other. In light of the financial crisis, some have suggested the right thing to do would have been to give the toxic assets, the capital, to the owners of the banks so they could write them off. Thielemann accuses European governments of courting the finance sector and playing into the hands of the financiers. Now there's nobody to rescue the governments. Until recently, all political forces believed in deregulation and market liberalization. What sustained it was the idea that the more capital involved, the better. And that, says the business ethics expert, was naive, given that European economies have all long since reached the limits of growth. He's calling for a new approach, starting at the university level. Our education systems need to change. They need to be cleansed of this belief in the wealth-creating power of deregulation and liberalization. This can ultimately be done by making business ethics a compulsory subject for all management students and capital market management students. So they won't think that they're benefiting everyone by maximizing their bonuses or profits for their shareholders. That reasoning is wrong and has to end. So what does this mean for the economic future of Europe? What matters is revitalizing the social market economy. The market is not social or fair by nature. For that, you need people who bring along a sense of responsibility and integrity. We need safety nets, the necessary social standards. These can certainly work against the market, of course. They're not about driving growth on. Maybe it will eventually have less growth and more prosperity. For Ulrich Thielemann, the lessons from the EU's current crisis are clear. He wants capital market regulation on a global scale. And that has to include the U.S. and China. Otherwise, he says, Europe will continue to flounder.